Hi everybody, I'm here for a little video. I'm going to show my process. I have um, been doing some journaling and some people have commented that they like the um, direction that my journaling is going. As you can see a few pages here. That was inspired by Mindy. Am I in the center of the screen? Eh, kind of. Um, <laughs> and so that journal, as you can see, is completely filled up except for this page right there. Um, so I started a new Traveler's Company insert. And I started it just the way I did the other one with just a couple of photos. And then eventually, you know, stickers and tea tabs and photos and all of that type of stuff started to appear. I've even started this. I'm gonna journal on that day, on this, on black, something I painted black. And my, my white pen started to act funny, so I need to get some new ones, so that's why that's left blank. But I have a couple of white blank pages in here, so I'm probably not going to talk much. Um, but I will um, occasionally interject with what I'm using. But so like my traveler's notebook, this is the Foxy Fix. It is a single elastic. It is in the Woodlands or Wildflower leather. And it's the one that's called, it's either Sienna or Sedona. I don't know, one of those two but it's, it's, um, it's kind of like a camel color, um, and it is aging really well. I'm not being, you know, careful with it. I'm just using it and setting it aside. I think it does have a cat claw mark on it there. I think that's what that is. Um, but it's a beautiful, beautiful piece of leather. Um, it mainly stays home, but occasionally it makes it out of the house, like when I go teach at TU, um, it's come with me a couple of times because I, I knew I was going to have some students that weren't coming that day due to the flu that was going around, so it's it's ventured out with me. Um, but so we have this, and I do have some photos in here. I don't know which direction we're going to go. I do have um, some stencils and other ephemera in the zipper pouch, the fruit zipper pouch. Um, let's see. Why don't I show you all the different things we have? I do have some empty washi tape. Um, this is about all I have. I have a couple of other rolls of some other things, but these are the most neutral that I have. Um, I think all of that Coco Daisy stuff I have is gone. I do have, um, this is a dictionary. It's It says Webster's Dictionary, um, but then it says in here, this book was not published by the original publishers of Webster Dictionary. So it's um, not really a Webster's Dictionary, um, but I know how so many people like to use, um, you know, old book pages. And I purchased this at a used bookstore here in Tulsa for the sole purpose of ripping out the pages and um, putting them in a journal. So we've got that. I've got some stickers here. You can see Lila has decided to join us because it wouldn't be a journaling session without Lila trying to chew everything. Um, I got like this little Tokyo ad. I've got this piece of paper with a bunch of other scraps of paper in it. Um, Kitty, my goodness, what are you doing? Can daddy spend a half an hour without having the little babies? I got some paper, wrapping paper, some scrapbook paper. I have a very interesting um, textbook. Oh, were you gonna come get her? You can come get her, it's okay. Chad's gonna take the little baby away because she's 
throwing my stuff everywhere. Okay. Bye! Um, this is a, uh, what's it called? Uh, scrapbook paper? This I got at uh, Joanne Fabrics. And um, they're eight by eight. There's 180 sheets in it. And I love this book because towards the back it does have like newspaper, dictionary, old lettering, some typewriter stuff, some ads, some more ads. It even has like, um, like there's some old newspaper. Um, it's got these like little postcard and little pieces like that. Lots of different sizes, some more postcards. It has lots and lots and lots of vintage and antique maps. But then it also has, like here, a couple of like Art Nouveau looking ones. Um, there's a pretty cool one of, uh, it says Cape Colony. So that's uh, South Africa. There's like an old one of New York, the Mediterranean. There's Tunisia. And then it has all these different ledger papers. Um, I, when I bought this, like I just was at the Joanne store and I had it there. It's the DCWV, I forget what that brand is. But, so I have that. So I have some of those things. Um, I'm gonna just do it in my Traveler's Factory insert. But then I also have some paper that I printed myself. Some scrapbook paper, there's like a honeycomb kind of a yellow with this B. I think that's like supposed to be like Winnie the Pooh, you know, like like a pot of honey. Some fall flowers, and I think this I got from a Christmas pack. Um, I've got some little stickers, like washi stickers of various things. I've got um, lots of things in here. Here. Um, I'm not quite sure what we will use. And of course, that means the puppies by the camera. So if you get bumped, I'm so terribly sorry. Some stickers and some woodland stickers. I think I might stick with this woodland theme that's been going on. I've got some different papers in here that I might use. Um, what else do we have? I got some brush markers, some Arteza gel pens. Uh, not Arteza, Artist Loft. The wrong A company. These are Arteza dual brush markers, so I might use some of those. Um, and then I also have in here, hi Lila. And then I have in here some microns and some gel pens. So we're gonna get the cat out of the way and I'm going to go through this stuff and see exactly what I want to use. Okay, we'll be back. Lila, little Miss Lila, come here, baby girl. Here, come here. Oh my goodness, oh, that does not mean bite me. No, no, no. Okay. Oh, and we got glue sticks. <laughs> I'm gonna look through here, see if they have like autumn, A-U-T. Autumn, the season between summer and winter. Okay, I'm gonna rip this page out. This horrifies me to do, but that was the reason that I bought this book. It's the first time that I'm doing this.
looking through right now, these are my Arteza Twee markers. Um, I think they're a dupe. Um, they remind me of the um, Tombow Twin Tone markers. You've got a brush nib on one side and then like a fine liner on this side. They're actually really, really nice markers. Um, <clears throat> Too bright.
Thank you. 
What for? Oh, the hernia? Yeah. Oh, that's a good thing. Yeah. Did they post on Facebook? Yeah. Good. <clears throat> if anyone is still watching, say a prayer for my sister. She's going into surgery. Light a candle, do whatever you do. Spring break of this year, she had a hernia rupture. Um, and then she ended up going into the hospital. And then they had to put her in a coma, like a twilight coma. And then she's been in and out of the hospital since then. So it's it's been a rough year for her kids and her husband. And Oh, and when it all happened, they were actually on a cruise. They were in like like the Bahamas or Barbados or I don't know, somewhere they were on a cruise ship. So they had to fly her to Miami. So then the, her husband had to finish spring break on the cruise with the kids while well, my sister was in the hospital. And then he had to drive the kids back from Florida to Chicago. And then he had to fly back down to see her. That was a very stressful spring break. Um, so here's what I've done so far. I decided to take some of those pieces of paper and you saw me use the folder or use the, um, I took some of those pages and you, you saw me use the ruler and kind of shred them down. You'll see I found the word autumn in the dictionary and just glued down some little scraps. I haven't decided if I'm going to use that mushroom or not. If I do, uh, no, we'll save it for something else. Um, but I did want to get out my stencil. I have loved using this. This is the stencil that came with Allie Brown's um, Bible journal kit, I think. It's very similar to one that I got on um, Amazon, but I like it because it's so compact and it can fit inside of my zipper pouch in my for roof in my in my journal TN. So I have been loving all of these fall colors, even though it's <clears throat> you know it was in the what upper 70s today, low 80s. And I'm gonna put the date. Um, I'm gonna put the 17th. So let's start backwards. And the pen I'm using, this is an Artist's Loft. See if you can see that. This is an Artist's Loft and it is just a brown gel pen. And I'm going to start backwards and I'm just gonna put two numbers for the year 2019, so just the 19. And what I'm gonna do to create the, um, of course I'm using the stencil and a pen, that's when Kitty comes. Let me see if we can get her to just chillax. What I do is I use the, ex I've been using the exclamation point. Honey, that's Daddy's glue stick. We don't play with that, that's not a toy. Here, do you want this? Do you want this sticker backer, you want this? You want this? Come get it. Go get it. Yeah, let's let's go get it. You go get it. Um. So I've been using the exclamation point, the the top of it, to create this cute, fun little thing to kind of, I guess, act like a, a dash to separate. Seventeenth. So we're going to do the seven. And I'm just using these um, Artist Loft gel pens. I recently filmed a um, video where I started a bullet journal using all Artist Loft items. I used these gel pens. I used some of the Artist Loft um, dual brush markers that are kind of like the um, 
tombos, and I'm really pleasantly surprised with how nice the artist loft items really are. And then October. So let's trace the zero. And I'm just, you know, I'm not being, you know, precise or anything with them. Ooh, do I have enough room for the one? Uh, barely. I think I put too much space. Yay, we had enough room. Um, but I've been loving them. And I've also really been enjoying the jelly rolls. But I've really been enjoying these um, Arteza twin markers. And I'm going to do this the same color system that I did for yesterday. I'm going to do just a little bit of words here. I'm not going to do any arting there. Um, but let's see, I used those two for the numbers, and then I used those two for the dashes. And I got a couple of other extra colors out. I have a beautiful sienna brown, I got an apple green, and then I got this beautiful burgundy, but we're gonna use these. So the first thing that I did, and I'll see if I can zoom in, I'm gonna take the yellow ochre, and I like the Arteza because you know, they feel like a sturdy pen and they're like real colors. Like that's yellow ochre, like that exists. But what I'm going to do is I'm just gonna fill in and you can see I'm using a brush pen and I just laid down that gel pen and notice, I mean, I just laid it down. Like I didn't, you know, like wait five minutes for it to dry, but look how it's just, it's not smudging. It's, I mean, yes, I'm using a like tone. You know, it was a brown gel pen and I'm putting down a yellow ochre. Um, but if you notice, like, look, it's not smudging. Now that also could be due to the fact that I'm using a wonderful paper. This is a um, wonderful insert that came with one of my Midori Traveler's notebooks. Um, actually, I think this came with the Traveler's Company one. Yeah, it says Traveler's Company. Actually, it came with one of my brown ones. Um, so... I've been kind of in this, like, fall, forest, leaf, foliage sort of a kick lately. And I didn't really know why. Um, but then the husband pulled some tarot cards and, you know, like, forests came up and then I had a tea the other day and it said there is pleasure in the pathless woods and then the day after that I had a tea and it said friendship is a sheltering tree and so I've been having all of these um <laughs> I'm not sure why but um I'm just kind of running with it and so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the earth red and I'm just going to kind of mark halfway through each number and then I'm going to color the bottom half with this earth red and it kind of gives you this sort of like um candy corn sort of a now this is just Midori paper so it, it will pill a little bit, I guess that's what it's called, with the, um, because I am putting down a lot of ink, but one thing that is so nice is it doesn't, like, horribly bleed through. And I'll show you when I finish, but it kind of gives it, like, a little, I like it, it gives it a candy corn sort of a look. So this beautiful earth red ends up looking like, you know, like a dark orange when it mixes with the yellow ochre, when it blends. Um, so see, I did that so you could see. See, 
The only thing that really went through was the um, gel pen. <laughs> and that's that's pretty normal because that was where I put the plank down. Oh no. It wasn't dry. <clears throat> so there's that. Now for in the inside the little diamond shape that I have in there, I'm gonna put the darker of the green. I'm gonna put the olive green. And olive green is one of my favorite colors. I love olive green. I love sap green. And then this sage green marker is just so pretty. And I'm gonna just, I'm not gonna worry about covering the, um, olive green that I put in because they are a blendable marker it'll just look really really beautiful um <clears throat> and then sometimes what I like to do since there isn't much room at the bottom and this is going to be one that I'm not going to really write much on like I will write on this and this and here and here what I'm going to do is I'm going to take these colors and kind of put them in some sort of a I don't know, Earth red, burgundy, brown, yellow ochre. Um, I'm gonna try something. I've never used this um, apple green other than to test it for. It's kind of bright, but if we put it down here towards the bottom, it'll kind of act like grass, I guess. Let's put down the, I love the sage green. That's such a pretty color. Then we'll do the olive green. I don't know why I started doing this with the little lines, but I just kind of like it. Put down the yellow ochre. Um, this is the earth red. You can see this kind of like a peachy orangey. It actually could be a nice um, undertone. There's the burgundy. And this is such a pretty brown. Kind of my color scheme for the fall. Um, so there, that is um, kind of what we have. And I, I don't think I have any washi tape that I want to use. I mean, I could use those, but there's enough mustard and with the green I don't it's, it's too happy of a green um so all I'm gonna do then is add my journaling with my artist loft brown pen and then I might I might do a little bit with my um jelly roll these are I wish they had the name of the colors on them but it's kind of like a burgundy and it's kind of like a burnt sienna ish color um, yeah, it doesn't say, it just says on the bottom, made in Japan. So there you go. Um, what I will do is I will try to link everything that I used down below. These papers here, the leaves, the, um, burgundy with the gold polka dots and the gold, those are digital downloads that I got from an Etsy seller. Um, but... There you are, just a quick little spread so you can see how I've been doing my journaling. So it'll just be words, words, and words. So there you are. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.